welcome! Today we're going to create Flappy Bird. Let's start by creating a new project and naming it Flappy Bird. Let's delete the cat and let's uh, make our Flappy Bird. Okay. Take sure I would go start the circle. Hold shift and you get a nice round circle. Okay, I want to change it to orange maybe let's see um delete one side with the so yeah let's get a nice square by holding shift and then delete one of the sides rotate it you can hold shift and make it perfect perfect um let's see i will have the eye there we go that's pretty good um, we'll add the line right there. How about that? Uh, actually, oh, let's change the colors. That will make it look a little bit better. But, I don't know, it looks pretty good. Now, let me add a little wing here. Um, I think that looks pretty good. Maybe one more, I don't know. Let's see. Mm. Uh, I'll stick with one for now. But right. so now let's go into start coding here. Okay, let's set it to zero and negative two hundred. Maybe we'll change that later if we need to. Um. So once I click go to and then forever if then okay so let's do if let's go with mouse down or space pressed let's um just for now let's change y by 15 now let's just check that out oh that's pretty good let's just do a wait until um they're not one of them are not pressed so that way we have a nice where it doesn't just go crazy <laughs> Okay, let's duplicate this. What we have, um, change what by negative one, so we're always going down. Okay, so now we got like kind of a flappy bird. Maybe a negative two, that'll make it nice. Okay. Now, let's let's do something a little different though. Let's set, um create a new variable speed y. If it, this sprite only. Set it to 30 for the beginning, then change speed y by, um, let's go 30, yeah. Okay, change speed y by negative 2, and then we just change y by speed y. Oh, let's see. Oh, so now we have a somewhat. Looks pretty good, but definitely we could definitely make it better. Maybe change it by twenty. Hmm. Set fifteen. There we go. I think we have a pretty good one. But to make it more flappy bird like, there's a couple things we might want to do. Okay. Um. That's optional. It's optional to do times it by zero point five. We get a little slower. Nice, but let's set it speed y to 20. Now we get a nice flappy bird feel, and then we don't even need the times speed y by 0 0.5. And now we have this nice flappy bird. Yes, probably change it to 15 though, or maybe 17. Oh, I think that's pretty good. Uh, so now I have the basics. Okay, so let's create a new. Um, sprite. Let's rename player sprite to player, and let's name our new sprite pipes. Okay, so now let's create our pipe. Start with like a nice green, and let's have an outline for now. Then let's set the outline to a little darker, and set it to a little to higher a higher number. Okay, so now after we get all of our our pipe, that looks pretty good. 
Let's center it and bring it all way up where we want it. Probably give a good gap between the middle. Then let's copy, paste, flip, and bring that one down all the way. But center that, and now we can start creating our pipes. Okay. When I click hide, then let's figure out where the max we can go that way is. And that is 268. So let's set that to that. Set our X position to that. And forever, wait five seconds, create a clone of myself. Um, let's do that before the wait five seconds. And then repeat until it's at X position less, less than two, six, seven, negative two, six, seven. That way we have a nice thing but show change x by maybe negative five that way we have a nice going okay um okay let's see um i have a little problem let's see Oh, here we go. I need to change. I did it. Oh, oh, there we go. And then we need to delete this clone. So that way we'll delete it. Okay, so now we have that going. Let's set the player size to, let's go with 95. 95, that looks pretty good. Oh, right. next step, let's actually just make these pipes. Maybe a little bit smaller so that way they're a little bit easier to pass through. But because we changed the size of the pipes, we'll have to change the can't go as far. And we'll have to change to let's see, negative 250 probably. That should work. So now we have it disappearing again. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and set player X position to negative 150, so that way it's a little bit more closer. And let's get it, let's fix this if touching pipes stop all, so that way we have the death. Oh, <laughs> alright. So, let's get the background. Okay, this looks pretty good. Maybe let's go blue sky. Well, I'll just, I'm just gonna make a little background real fast then. There we go. I think I like that. It's pretty good. It's like bushes kind of. But let's now have it if you fall to the bottom of the screen, you also die. So let's set Y position to if y position is less than negative 179 negative 179 then we'll or touching pipes so we'll die okay and then i'm going to make where the pipes spawn a little bit closer together that way we have it a little bit better than a little faster pipes Okay. Um, one second seems a little too much for me. I think I'll go with 1.5. That seems pretty good. But, hmm. So now, let's get a randomization on the y axis. So let's say negative 100 to 100. So now, when it creates a clone. And now we have this nice, we have it like 
perfect like Flappy Bird. Oh, I'm gonna set speed Y to 15 and set 17, so that way we have a little settled jumps. It'll be a little easier to pass through the holes, the pipes. Oh. Okay, that's pretty fun, honestly. But if we want to add some more, so we can add um, a new broadcast message of die. So a new message called die. And in the pipe sprite, let's when receive, stop all scripts in sprite. And then let's stop this script after we broadcast die in the player sprite. And when I receive die in this player sprite, let's turn five degrees. And make sure we set um, uh, our direction to 90 at the beginning of the script so that way we don't have a offset. But repeat until we go off the to the bottom of the screen. Um, and then we'll stop all after that. And let's change Y. Let's actually just duplicate what we have the change speed Y. And we'll have a set speed Y to 5. So we have a little jump when we die. Let's turn by actually 10 degrees, maybe. Um, maybe 5, 10. Let's go with 10 and for speed Y. So we have a little jump there. And then let's turn it by 15 degrees to the right. So that way we have our nice death. I like that. Oh, wait. Next. Let's go ahead. Maybe since we're, let's see, right, because we're already doing direction, if we tried adding some more direction into jumping, that way we have a little bit more interesting. But, so, point in direction, speed Y times, well, let's start with divided by 5. Let's see how that turns out. Oh. When you make sure we add it by 90. There we go. Let me divide by 2. Okay. Okay. If I want to receive die, we just have to make sure we um, stop other scripts in Sprite so that way we still have it cycle through and turn our degrees rather than using what we just set point and direction but let's actually go I'm just going to kind of experiment here come figure it out oh okay. so let's actually go with point and direction and let's do it in the forever one without the jump because that way we have it better because that way um when we click it doesn't wait and not change direction but so now this is better, but let's actually time speed y by two. And that gives a good little like kind of bounce to it. Oh, right, that's it. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Please check out my other videos and the next Flappy Bird will be coming out here soon. I'm just showing you what it'll look like. It'll be lots of fun. Thank you. And We'll see you next time. Bye.